great to be back home. Great to play in the field house. Excited that, uh, you know, two sellouts in front of over 7,000 fans with the upper deck uh, partially open. So we were, uh, you know, I think Friday, Saturday, I mean, that was about as loud as I've ever heard it. So it was just an absolute great environment to, to play in. Uh, happy with the way our team battled both days. I thought we played well. I thought we got uh, balanced efforts from, from everybody that got in there. It's great, two great team wins. Uh, heading to Texas and, and a really, really good Baylor team. I think a team that uh, is probably one of, the, one of the top teams in the country and a really good North Texas team that we're, we're excited about and that's in front of us. Questions? You mentioned the upper deck impact. Uh, that's been talked about for a number of years. A lot of kids have anticipated it. Could you feel it? Um, how could you feel it down on the floor? And was it everything you thought it might be? Uh, first of all, that you know, you get, you look. You know, we have a servant pass in a film session and things like that. And then uh, typically I go and grab a bite to eat. And when you see fans outside over four hours before match time waiting, I mean, that's, uh, that's not usual uh, for a lot of places. I think that's really cool. And, you know, and uh, I've got a pre-match interview with John, uh, giving a plug for him and his radio station right now, that uh, – about an hour and a half before the match, and one of the two entrances, I mean, it was down past the shell. I mean, it was just, you know, just the, an hour and a half before of just how long people are, are waiting to get in there, and, and and that's common. I mean, that's, that happens a lot, I mean, as you know. Um, but walking in, and, uh, and, you know, I made it a point to look up before, you know, after I got done talking with the team, so I probably came in first match, probably about a half hour before the match, and you see so many people sitting up in the – the upper deck already and you know you take a moment to appreciate you know hey we've this isn't just a a special match that we that we're filling that up there I mean this is this is kind of where we're at right now as a program hopefully match in and match out and so you take a moment to appreciate that the only other time that you really notice it is 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 when you're talking to your team in a timeout and uh, Saturday night at least was one of those matches where you're at the top of your lungs during a timeout talking to your team. And, you know, if I was talking at the top of my lungs with the per people that were right here in front of me, they could hear me. But if I'm talking here, this person, if I wasn't facing them, couldn't hear what I was saying. That's, that's pretty crazy. You know, I, my, nobody's accused me of having a, a small voice. Uh, and so uh, I, I think moments like that, it's, I can only imagine what it was like during the timeouts when, you know, during the basketball games when those things had, you know, 12,000 people or, or, or whatever in there. It's, uh, it is difficult to communicate in that, but it's, I can't imagine a better environment to be on the court to play a volleyball match than what that was like Saturday. I mean, it just, it is a, uh, it is loud. The fans are right on top of you. It's not sterile. It's just, it's a, it's a great venue when it's, when it's packed. Uh, this weekend was fantastic. And, and they came back the next day. I mean, we sold out the, the very next day, you know, less than 24 hours later, which, um, you know, we're just, we don't take that for granted. I want this guy to get ready for a question. You gonna you gonna have one for me here in the next few minutes? Think think of one. Uh, Grace Loberg at the end of last year showed some signs of the impact she could have on your team, mm -hmm. but mostly with her hitting. And it seems like she's been indispensable all the way around. That you don't get her off the court, and I'm mostly serving her turn too. How about her development as an all-around player and not being able to play last night? Is that how how, much, how concerning is that uh, her physical condition? The um, uh, you know the, the there's left sides that 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 have an arm. You'll find a way to get on the court. I mean, if you've got a big arm and you can score, that's you know that's that's what you want out of a left side. 
Uh, but the great ones are six rotation players that can play that can play the game. And you know, fortunately, both of our starting lefts right now are people that play all the way around. They impact the game in a lot of different ways. You know, if if their hitting isn't on, then they're still able to to pass the ball well and defend and serve and and block and and Grace has worked really really hard to develop her all around game. She you know in clubs she played all the way around and so. Um, you know, she, she just she's a worker. You know, she she didn't play early last year because she wasn't she wasn't ready that, to play the game at that speed. But she kept she did what you, what you what you want out of players is to come in the gym whether you're playing or not playing, whether you're in the rotation or not, and you just get better and you get better every single day. And she approached that that way, and then she got good enough that when opportunities came later on the season, they came early in the season, she was just okay. But later on, as she kept getting better, um, when those opportunities, then she came in there and she did, she played well and earned more playing time and more and just took off, you know, the, the confidence. But that confidence of being able to do that comes in the, in, into practice. Um, you know, what we've seen out of her in the matches, you know, and throughout preseason, she's statistically one of our best passers. Um, you know, I think she showed that this, you know, on Saturday night when she played. She led her team, I think, in kills and digs. Um, she's not. A, she reads the game real well. She makes simple moves, and uh, and I think she's going to get a lot better. It's uh, because of how she how she works. But uh, you know, as far as not playing her Sunday, yeah, she's dealing with a little bit of a leg thing, and it's you know it's concerning if we're not if we're not uh, if we're not paying attention to it. And so you know, it's. Uh, um, uh, which is which we are paying attention to it, so there's not a whole lot of concern with this right now. I think it's managing things until she can be, um, you know, it's early on the season where you're playing a lot of matches uh, back to back and, and stuff, and so we're just we're keeping an eye on that. Um, you know, she'll be back practicing this week and playing this weekend, I'm sure. Okay. Early in the season, Kelly, can you learn more about a team on the road than at home? Uh. I don't know. I th I think I think you're learning a lot uh, all, all the time. I don't. It's um, we learned a lot about ourselves this weekend. You know, here. Um, you know, the, the one of the things about being on the road is you get to spend a lot of time together. You know, you you. It's a lot more of it is about volleyball without some of the distractions. Uh, I know I've had. You know, playing the field house is awesome. We've had we've had we've had quite a few players that actually enjoy being on the road even more. And I, for some of them, I'm sure it's because they don't have to go to class. But it's um, I think for others, it's they like being in that arena where people are kind of against them, and they c it can all be about the team. And you can watch a little bit more film. You can you know, meet a little bit more. Uh, so in that way, I think uh, you, you know there's some good stuff about being on the road. But it's it's hard to sit there and say. Uh, we'd rather be anywhere else but here. <laughs> Our young reporter has a question. Yes, you in the third row. <laughs> um, did anything surprise you about your team Saturday night? Anything surprised me about the team on Saturday night? That's an excellent question. Um, and it's the first time in a long time that I've been stumped, so everybody else needs to raise their game. <laughs> um, I don't know if anything surprised me. Um, no, I don't think anything surprised me. I thought we, I thought we played well. Uh, you know, it's, uh, I thought we were steady. We played consistent throughout, uh, which is, which was a goal of ours. You know, we wanted to serve, pass and defend. Those were three things we talked about a lot this weekend. I thought we did a great job with that. Um, no, I don't think I was, I, I don't think I was surprised. We, you know, we played better than what we did in week in the first weekend, and uh, and that's always the goal. I'm sure that's going to be something that you're going to hear from Coach Coach Chris today. Ask him that question as well. Uh, I'd love to hear what he what he <laughs> says about that. But I'm sure his goal is week two. We want to be better than week one, and for us, I thought we were. 